In the silence that follows the cessation of a heartbeat, an unseen journey begins. This journey traverses a realm that remains shrouded in mystery, evoking both wonder and trepidation in those who ponder it. This realm is Barzakh, a profound concept in Islamic eschatology representing the intermediate state between death and resurrection. It is a liminal space where the soul awaits its final reckoning, a place that encapsulates the transient nature of life and the enduring nature of the hereafter. In the stillness of this in-between world, the essence of human existence is laid bare, stripped of earthly illusions, revealing the true substance of one's life. In Islamic belief, Barzak is not merely a passive waiting room but a significant phase of the soul's journey. Upon death, the soul departs the physical body and enters this intermediate state, where it remains until the day of judgment. During this period, the soul experiences a form of consciousness and awareness, reflecting its earthly deeds and spiritual condition. This is not the final abode but a temporary station that prefigures the ultimate fate of the soul. The Quran and Hadith, the sayings of the Prophet Muhammad, provide insights into the nature of Barzakh. According to these sources, upon death, two angels named Munkar and Nakar visit the deceased in the grave. They pose questions about the person's faith, deeds, and understanding of the divine. The responses given by the soul determine the nature of its experience in Barzakh. The righteous, those who lived in accordance with the divine guidance, find comfort and peace, while the wicked, those who stray from the path, face torment and distress. In this intermediate state, the righteous souls experience a garden-like existence. It is described as a window to paradise, a place of solace where they find respite and joy. This experience reflects the mercy and compassion of Allah, offering a glimpse of the eternal reward awaiting them. On the other hand, the wicked souls endure a grave-like state filled with darkness and constriction. It is a harrowing experience that prefigures the suffering of hell, serving as a stark reminder of the consequences of one's actions in the earthly life. The concept of Barzakh underscores the belief in accountability and the transient nature of worldly life. It emphasizes that life is a test, a preparatory stage for the eternal hereafter. The experiences in Barzakh are not arbitrary but are directly linked to one's actions, faith, and intentions during their earthly existence. This intermediate state acts as a reflection of one's true self, free from the veils of worldly distractions and deceptions. Barzakh is not a concept unique to Islam, many religions have similar beliefs regarding an intermediate state between death and the final judgment. In Christianity, particularly in Catholicism, there is the concept of suffering, a place where souls undergo purification before entering heaven. It is a temporary state where the soul is cleansed of its sins, reflecting the mercy and justice of God. Some Protestant denominations believe in a form of an intermediate state, such as Abraham's bosom or paradise for the righteous, echoing the themes of comfort and reward found in Islamic teachings. Judaism also speaks of an intermediate state in the form of Sheol, a shadowy existence where souls await resurrection and judgment. The concepts of Gone Eden, Garden of Eden, and Gehinnom, Gehenna, further illustrate the idea of temporary posthumous experiences based on one's actions in life. These beliefs emphasize the importance of righteousness and moral conduct, highlighting the continuity of existence beyond physical death. In Eastern religions, such as Hinduism and Buddhism, the cycle of death and rebirth, known as samsara, includes intermediate states where souls undergo various experiences before their next incarnation. In Tibetan Buddhism, this is referred to as bardo, a transitional state where the soul faces various trials and visions. The nature of these experiences depends on the individual's karma, reflecting the principle of cause and effect that governs their existence. Despite the variations in theological details, these beliefs across different religions share a common thread, the recognition of a transitional phase that bridges the gap between the physical world and the ultimate afterlife. This phase serves as a period of reflection, purification, and preparation, highlighting the impermanence of life and the enduring nature of the soul's journey. In Islam, Barzakh is a profound reminder of the continuity of existence beyond death. It emphasizes the importance of living a life of righteousness, faith, and mindfulness of the hereafter. The experiences in Barzakh serve as a precursor to the final judgment, reinforcing the belief in divine justice and mercy. It is a state that calls for introspection and awareness, urging individuals to lead lives that align with the divine will. As we contemplate the concept of Barzakh, we are reminded of the fleeting nature of our earthly existence and the eternal journey that lies ahead.
It invites us to reflect on our actions, our faith, and our relationship with the divine. In the silence of the grave, where the soul awaits its ultimate destiny, we find a profound message of hope, accountability, and the enduring promise of divine mercy. Barzak is not merely a phase of waiting but a transformative journey that shapes our eternal future, urging us to live with purpose, compassion, and unwavering faith. In the quiet of that intermediate state, where time ceases to matter and only the essence of our deeds remains, Barzak stands as a solemn reminder of our ultimate return to our Creator. It beckons us to prepare, to seek forgiveness, and to strive for righteousness. For in the end, it is not the length of our days that matters but the depth of our faith and the sincerity of our actions. As we navigate the complexities of life, may the thought of Barzak guide us towards a path of goodness, ensuring that when our time comes, we are ready to embark on the journey to our eternal home.